Hi there, my name is Memo, this is my channel Has Plenty Goodness, and essentially it's a place where I like to geek out about my big passion. You might be able to see some of it behind me, it's tropical houseplants. So today is the much awaited second unboxing slash haul video from Equigenera. And you might be able to see behind me, there's a few plants that we need to look at today. But before we get into any of that, let me give you some background on kind of the day today as it's happened. So this is a Saturday now, this is on the day where the unboxing has happened. It's been a bit of a manic morning because I had to get up super early to take Duke for a walk and then head to Cambridge quite quickly because when I basically purchased and planned around this day being the day that I was going to be picking up the plants, I didn't know that family was going to be coming over to stay with me for the weekend, which unfortunately is a reason why I won't be able to make tomorrow's, Sunday's, plant swap in London like I would normally do because I've got people up here with me. So <laughs> it was a bit of an awkward moment where they all decided to, like the family decided to come up and I'm just a bit like, ah, I might have to leave you alone for like a few hours and go and pick up these plants and come back. Luckily, they went in and around the bit, the major city that I've got near me here, so that's fine. They should be back shortly, and I have just got about enough time to do a quick video because I want to get these plants unpackaged, essentially, because obviously there is no box. But, um, but yeah, essentially, drove down to Cambridge because I live north of Cambridge but not too too far if that makes sense and I was able to get in and out quite quickly every time I have seen these kind of equigenera booths that happen at some of their pop-ups or some of the events that are there it tends to be for lack of better words carnage but this time around I wasn't trying to find a plant that they had there on display I have got an order I was a bit unclear about where I needed to go and find my order. Eventually I found the individual that I needed to speak to and it happened quite quickly, which is good because essentially I was able to get in and out in about 10 minutes. So I'll take that as a win and manage to get back relatively early, which is good. Now I did meet uh, one of the viewers or subscribers at this event who said, hello, hi again. I'm really sorry I didn't catch your name. For anybody that meets me at some of these events, do feel free to come and say hello. I am a bit kind of socially awkward when it comes to those situations, so don't take it too, too personally. It's a bit like, oh, oh, there's a lot of things going on. But I promise I do enjoy meeting every single one of you when I see you at some of these events. So yes, please do come and say hello if you do see me and recognise me. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the plants. And I've got my list here because <laughs> I'm not going to remember. So how many did I get this time around? I may have got 12 plants. <laughs> There's a few for us to go through and I'll try to do the same thing with this video like I did with my previous video, which I'll link up at the top if you haven't had a chance to see it. I'll basically show you each one of the plants. I'll see if I can take some close-ups of both the plants and the roots, if at all possible, and insert different clips. I'll also put the name up and the price that I got it at that stage from Equigenera. So yeah, I mean, goes without saying, the fact that I'm doing a second order since my last order means that overall, I was quite happy with the quality of the plants I got. I will caveat this and say based on the comments from everybody else on the previous video, that's not always everybody's experience. So this time around I thought I decided to do something a bit different and kind of didn't give any indication of who I was when I was ordering the plants because some people rightly made a comment that if they know that it's going to a YouTuber, I still cringe a bit when I call myself a YouTuber, but you know, um, that some of these companies might go the extra mile to make sure that you get everything perfect. So I was trying to avoid that and let's see how we get along. Another little side note as well, I saw Amy and oh, I can remember um, one of the other founders and I'll see if I can find the name and kind of put it at the top there from Soil Ninja at this event, which is great. It was amazing to say hi to them. Um, so yeah, it's always nice to kind of see the usual suspects and some of these. <laughs> it's the same same few of us few there's quite a few of us actually that go to these events now so it's nice to kind of see the the regulars but 
enough of me prattling, let's get into the plants. So I will say that I did get a couple of plants, I think it's two plants, one plant again. And for the people that have seen the kind of two week update, which I'll link up at the top there, or that I did of the original plant fall, and then I did another one, I think, at the two mark stage, which again, I'll link at the top there. You might be able to guess which plant I have reordered. I am hoping that I have better luck with it this time around, but I'm also fully aware that it might not be any better this time around. And luckily I've got at least two cuttings from that original plant that should be doing okay, but I would like to get a bit more of an established ones. And I think I have ordered a few more philodendrons this time around. One, two, three, four, five of the 12 are philodendrons. So I was taking a bit of a risk knowing that because the philodendrons didn't do so good last time around and again based on what everybody else was saying from their previous experiences I would imagine it's kind of the same thing. I will address something really quickly. Apologies to the people that saw one of the first few videos in the new conservatory especially when I was giving you the tour. I did not realize that the ceiling fan because it was quite bright was creating a bit of a strobe effect behind me on the Queen Anthurium. I have stopped the ceiling fan now and it's not as bright of a day, so hopefully this shouldn't be an issue. I'll try to pick it up on editing. If I don't see it, but you do, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what else I can do. I will say now it's relatively cool still, but when it gets a bit warm, I will keep the ceiling fan off. I've got another fan blowing, which hopefully won't have any issues with the sound. But if you see me sweltering in the summer, know that I'm doing it for all of you. <laughs> is that ceiling fun does really help in here and it gets a bit hot and humid, which is great for the plants. But, all right, let's go into the first one. I don't even know which one the first one is. Ooh, this is one that I was a bit worried might not do as well. So they have got the same kind of plant packaging, but obviously this is not coming in a box this time around. I will say I had a bit of a peek in some of these and they're feeling quite cold. So I don't know if they have these sitting outside for a while, but they do have the tags again with them. Um, same kind of packaging like I did last time. So this, and let me see if I can get it out easily enough without ruining the plant. Ooh, ooh. So it's looking okay. There's a bit of cosmetic damage. Those roots are still not looking great. Mm, this one might be okay actually, which is impressive because I think this one has got the potential to be a bit more challenging. Again, I'll see if I can take clips of the roots. And there is a new growth point, which luckily isn't looking too, too battered. But yeah, I'm also seeing these for the first time as you are. This is the philodendron Sharonii. I think that's how you'd pronounce it. But I mean, obviously it's a bit wrinkled and crinkled and there is some tiny cosmetic damage, but I wanted to see with the pop-up if it makes it any different to getting it in the box and it takes longer. I will say, which I found quite surprising, it wasn't much cheaper to get it at the pop-up than it was to get it delivered to the house. And by not much cheaper, I think the difference was about 10 Great British Pounds. And yeah, I mean, the delivery for this many plants cost me, to the pop-up, 78, not pounds, but dollars. So that's still quite a lot of money for something that I then needed to travel for like an hour and a half each way to get to them. So I don't know if the process is any easier. And as I can see from here, there's at least some roots that are looking, there's at least some aerial roots that are looking relatively healthy on this one. So let's see how we get along with some of the others, shall we? Right, moving on to the next plant. Ooh, don't remember ordering this. Did I order this? Did I order this? Oh no, I did order this. Sorry, <laughs> did, I, did I, did I, is this this one? Yes, Anthurium Eminence. I saw quite a few plants on their websites that I'm just like, ooh, I don't think a lot of people have necessarily heard of some of these and they are taking my fancy. So let's give it a try. 
I thought I'd be relatively safe with some Anthuriums. Oh, this is brilliant. I don't know if this is going to come up. Can you see that little aerial route that's coming in through one of the holes? That's brilliant. Right, let me see how I can take this. I'm going to have to rip that bag around that aerial route because I don't want it destroyed. Right. Some of these bits are going to be fast forwarded, I think, because otherwise you're going to hear me crinkling a lot. Um, let's see how many of these are going to come out. Ooh. So you might be able to spot a theme with some of these plants, and I actually have to remove quite a few things from the order because I used an order form on their website as a bit of a wish list. Ooh, first yellow leaf. So I will add this bag down there because this one doesn't have a tag, it just had a sticker on it. So there is a yellow leaf there. That is looking a bit worse for wear there. And I think that might be the growth point. That might have been the new leaf. But to be fair, the roots, from what I can see, are looking, you might be able to see that, the roots are looking exceptionally healthy with this one again. So I would imagine that would be okay. There's a tiny bit of mold on this, and it's because this is mush, basically. So I will remove that. It'll, um, but yeah, no, this is looking quite good. Apologies if you can hear Duke barking in the background. I'm about to take him out after I do this video, so you might hear a bit. But yeah, you can see the leaves are quite cool because they're kind of those tri-lobed leaves, which I thought would be quite interesting. But just to give you a bit of an idea, you can see there on the, um, the aerial roots on that section there and here as well. So high hopes for this one. As I said, the growing point probably just got some cold damage or some wet damage, but so this is really interesting. So that is one of the elder, oldest leaves, and then they split into this. And I have a very sneaky suspicion part of the reason why I got this is because there's, there's even more lobes that will happen. I might be wrong, and I'll correct myself if I am, but yeah, this, this one I'm really looking forward to seeing what it grows into. I will say, obviously, for the people that have been here for a while, most of the anthuriums are going to go straight into Soil Ninja's course semi-hydromix because I had such great success with the previous order. Right, moving on swiftly, because we've got a few plants to get through. Yeah. Oh, this one does have a tag, and this is another philodendron. This is the one that I'm really worried about, and it's cold. It is quite, quite cold. So I don't know where they had these, because I don't think today was that cold. But this, and I'll add that there. Hold on, let me put tags with things, because I'm going to forget what everything is. This one has got plastic covering around it as well, so... Oh, this one, this one worries me, and you'll understand why when I tell you what plant it is and you see it. Because um, this one is the one philodendron that, at the best case scenario, these can be very huffy. Let me just unstick. I'm not going to try pulling this out at the top. I'm just going to rip through the paper. Oh yeah, this one did not have a good time. This is one of the ones that I peeked in at some point and just went, oh, yeah, there was definitely some cold damage on this one. Uh, but again, this is the one that I was expecting was going to be problematic. Ooh, how are the roots looking? Oh, the roots aren't looking too, ooh, too, too bad. Yeah, this one is going to be a definite rehab moment. So strappy leaves, and I don't know whether or not there was a cut on that leaf already, and it's kind of causing that much of an issue at the top. There is previous rippage, and you can see the back as well. There is a new growth point, and the roots aren't looking too bad, I don't think, but this is cold to the touch. Yeah, the roots are looking kind of okay. At least there's some salvageable roots in there that hopefully I'll be able to show you. This. <laughs> some people might have been able to guess what this is. And I got this to go alongside 
these mayoral deaths. This is the Philodendron patricii. So the people that know, know that the patricii at the best of moments is a plant that could be quite challenging for quite a lot of us. So I was expecting this, I was hoping it might come in a slightly better state, but let's see, I'm assuming there's going to be some significant rehab in the life of this plant coming up. Moving on swiftly. God, these are getting colder and colder. Um, so this is an interesting one. And let me, I'll, I'll unpack it and then tell you what it is. But let's see. Packaging is good. I mean, it's the same packaging that they would have had had it come in from um, in a box, basically. But again, Anthurium, this one, and the roots are looking very good. It's feeling very cold. And this is another one that I was a bit worried about. So let me show you the roots first. And this you might be able to tell by the corrugation on these leaves. And again, these could be ones that could struggle a bit because well, all of these corrugated leaves. So this one's looking a bit yellow at this particular moment in time, as is that one, but they're looking like older leaves. There is a significant chunk and some decent roots. This is the Anthurium rogulosum. Rogulosum? Rogulosum. <laughs> Oh, the next part, I'm not even going to, there's two L's, Lurukui, I am probably butchering this, if anybody, if this, if I've butchered anybody's language, I am so eternally sorry, <laughs> but I will put it somewhere so you can actually see what it is, but I am surprised with this, this did okay. This did okay. As I said, the older leaves, they're slightly struggling, but to be fair, these are cold plants. I have got high hopes for this because this I thought was going to be quite thin. It's not. So obviously the, it's the usual kind of situation with these anthuriums. They're a bit squished and they should relax after a bit, basically. Trying to put things down gently. All right. Ooh. Oh, this one might be an interesting one. So let me just unstick this really quickly. And this is another Anthurium. I think we're going to end up with quite a few of the philodendrons at the end, and that might be a bit disappointing. I also have zero hope now, having seen the Patriciae on the one that I thought I'd give another go. I would assume that's probably going to look quite peaky at this particular moment in time. Um, I do wonder with some of the philodendrons, though, that if this was a quicker process than getting it shipped. So this is an anthurium, I think. Yes. Um, and you might be able to tell by quite how stringy this one is. Oh, this one, this one surpassed my expectations. So this is an anthurium lutheri. And I wanted a long, a strappy leaf anthurium, and the roots are looking good. And I'm actually quite glad because I was a bit worried about pots, and I thought some of these were going to be huge pots again. There is a new leaf that is coming in there. I think that might have a bit of a challenge, but you can see some of the texture on those leaves. I really like this, and it's also relatively compact because I ain't got no space. Well, actually, no, I do. I lie. I've made space. Whilst I chuck the microphone on the floor, I've made space, but uh, yeah, this is cool. This is, I thought this was going to be considerably smaller, so I'm very happy with this. Right, let me put this down as well. There is a packing list as well, which is kind of cool. Um, right, let's have a look. Next one. Oh, I think we're getting into the huge ones now. Oh, and this is a philodendron. I don't remember this. It's quite a few of these that I'm just like, what did I order? Um, let's have a look. It worries me when they're this large of a philodendron because it's so heart-wrenching if it goes wrong. 
But again, as what I've said in previous videos, assume that you're getting wet stick with most of these. And this one might actually be your wet stick by the time I look at it. Hmm, I don't know. Mm, there's some decent, decent aerial roots on this. Whoa, okay. A lot of sounds, I'm sorry. This, let me have a look, is the Philodendron Palorans. Palorans, oh. Um, but you can see the theme that I was talking about now with the three lobed leaves that you might be able to see there. But it is quite a chunky, chunky stem there as well and you can see potentially some of the aerial roots this has got mm, potential no there's some of the air, some of the roots in here as well this is doing okay they are very cold to the touch and i have a very sneaky suspicion with a lot of these that i'm gonna see damage in the next couple of weeks rather than right now basically but there is that new growth point there this is looking quite good but again obviously these are looking very squished at the moment, which makes sense. I don't know, I'm not seeing a lot of that powderiness, but essentially what I wanted, and I don't know if I ended up getting it, and I don't know if it is this one, I don't think it is. I wanted the Tesla philodendron, but I don't think I got it. Possibly, I don't know. But we shall see, but let me put this down and move on swiftly. Still going, there's still quite a few plants here. This one I was very intrigued by, and I think I got a smaller one with this one. No, it's a medium size, apparently. And I think this is one that I'd seen on their Instagram. And it piqued my interest. And this is another Anthurium, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is another Anthurium. So I'm hoping the roots are good. Yeah, I can see some decent roots in here. <laughs> yeah, theme. We're going with the theme today. So this is the Anthurium clavigernum. Clavigerum. So you might be able to see again. I know this might seem a bit redundant, but I got a lot of these that are the same. This one is a bit smaller, but that's fine. It means that I've got pots for all of these things, which makes me exceptionally happy. But yeah, this one seems quite good. And I don't think this one was a particularly expensive one either. So Anthurium clavigerum. So let's see how that one goes. And you might also be able to spot that I've gone for less of the um, kind of heart shape. I've got some heart shapes that are still to come, I think. But I thought I'd go for something a bit more different. And I find that some of these strapier or the trilobed ones tend to slot in a bit better in my collection. So let's see how it goes. I'm also getting to the point now where things are dropping, so I'm trying not to... This is the take two plant. And it's cold, it's really cold. Um, don't have high hopes for this one. I'll get excited because I'll get to see what it looked like, like the last time that it came here, because this one was exceptionally impressive. Well, it did. This is one that I wasn't expecting last time that I would fall in love with as much as I did, and I kind of did. And I think it's just going to lead me to more heartache potentially now. But oh, so pretty, so pretty. <sighs> So for the people that have been here before, any guesses down below as to which one this is? <laughs> right, I'll show you which one this is. This is the Philodendron Heterocraspidum part two, and you can see there is some damage cosmetic potentially there. There is a new huge leaf that is coming in here. This seems a lot less floppy and a lot more, for lack of better words, turgid than last time. This has got some decent, more decent aerial roots than it did last time. I am not convinced that those roots are going to do particularly well, but we shall see. This one might be one that's rehabbed in a bit of damp sphagnum moss in 
a prop box depending on what I see the roots to be like and if not it might also be one of the few that's going to go into an aroid mix rather than semi-hydro because I think this one might struggle going straight into semi-hydro. It does feel a lot better than the previous one in terms of like how stiff the leaves are but Let's have a look. I'm really hoping that at least this one survives. I really am. But I mean, you can see for the plant quite how little the root mass is. So that is one. Ah, this is another philodendron. And this is a philodendron that I did not want to spend a huge amount of money on it. I was intrigued by it when it first kind of hit everybody's awareness. But I did not want to pay ridiculous money because I don't have that much of an obsession with things that are pink when it comes to plants. So the the <laughs> the people in the know have probably guessed which one this one is already by me saying that. And I think these have become a lot more available in recent months, essentially. Oh no, let me go up the other way. It's a decent size. So let's see again, this is another philodendron. So based on coldness alone, um, and I'm sure the company would have reasons why it was cold. It might not be them. It might be that they've only just got them back from like customs or anything like that. So potentially there's all of that. So this is probably, you're not going to be able to see the big thing about this plant. Ooh, there we go. This is, then let me have a look at the roots. Can't see any roots in here through this sphagnum moss. There is some decent aerial roots potentially if I need to. My instant reaction now with most of these is if I need to rehab it, which I probably will have to, how easy is it going to be to rehab? There is a tiny bit of cosmetic damage there. There's a bit of a cut. I don't know whether or not that's going to come up. This is the philodendron linamii. Linamii, linamii. And this is the one that when the new leaf emerges, it's quite pink basically so you might be able to see there's a bit of a blush on that leaf and that's the newest leaf hopefully this does well i as i said it wasn't one that i was in desperate desperate need to get into my collection when it was stupidly priced it's become a bit more affordable now i think so i thought let's give it a try if i'm doing a bigger order anyway so uh, let's move on this might be a bit of a quick and dirty video purely because, as I said, I've got places I need to be. But you know me, as I said last time in the previous video, I can probably do an update again on some of these in a couple of weeks' time so we can see how the dust settles. <laughs> Especially considering how cold this is. And the thing that worries me about how cold these still are, these sat in a car that was heated for a good hour and a half on the way back here and it was sunny and all these things. So I dread to think how cold these were before they came to me. So <laughs> we shall see. I'm less worried about the anthuriums. I'm a bit worried about the anthuriums, but not less worried about the anthuriums than I am with some of these philodendrons. We'll see. They're all, the one thing I will say is so far, except with that, which one, the anthurium eminence that had that completely mushed new growth points, everything else is very stiff and turgid. I think turgid is the word of the day for this video and apologies for anybody that is cringing because that's probably up there with the word moist. And again, apologies. <laughs> so this I'm really curious about because this one really intrigued me on their Instagram. It wasn't one that I'd ever heard of before and they're always showing their one, which is huge. And I think what I bought was a seedling, and this is apparently a seedling. So <laughs> me and them have got very different definitions of what an anthurium seedling is, because my seedlings are tiny. Oh, yes. However, this one, oh, and you can see this one also had some... I want to say something like cotton wool. They were expecting this one to be problematic, I think. How are the roots on this one? The roots are okay on this. Um, but yeah, I think this is probably what more people were expecting to see in terms of this video. 
this, is this, is this aligning a bit more into what some people's experiences have been? This is the anterior cupulispathum, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And so you can kind of see what that leaf looks like there. It's kind of a very pointed arrow, slight heart-shaped leaf when it matures. I would assume I might lose some of these leaves, if not all of these leaves, but they're kind of mature form of these is very, very cool. And I will say the roots are looking and feeling quite stiff. So, and this one doesn't feel quite as cold as the rest. I'm assuming it's because of that kind of cottony woolly stuff that they got in there. But it's a shame. This is such a crying shame with this one because I was really looking forward to seeing what this looked like. And I can kind of see the shape and check out their website for this one to see what the big, big plants look like. These are quite showstoppery. And this one I'm hoping will get as big as the contra most controversial anthurium I think that I've uh, I've got because and I'll link the video at the top in terms of a review. I got it sold to me as an anthurium metallicum. Most people don't think it's a metallicum. I don't know what it is. I've kind of had a few estimates. Some people said, look, it might be something like um, a hybrid. Potentially, it could be. I love it. The leaves are absolutely huge. I think I've tagged it as an Anthurium Metallicum when I did the, or Magnificum, I thought Magnificum might be another one that it is. Somebody did helpfully say, look, maybe see if anybody who's an expert and maybe some inflorescences, and I did have an inflorescence back when, I'm hoping I might get one, I'm looking at it at the moment, hoping I get might get one again this summer and take a picture. I don't know who the experts at looking at Anthurium inflows are that they might be able to judge what it is. But if you know, let me know in the comments down below who I need to hit up and I will reach out and see if they can help me identify. But yeah, this one, worst one so far, I would say. Right, final two and, okay. And they're both anthuriums. Okay, so let's go with, <laughs> oh, these names, anthurium. Querel Malens. Yeah. Should have maybe not told you that, but I don't think a lot of people know this one. I doubt. Anyway, if you do, let me know. Um, it's not one I don't think I'd ever heard of before, but it did strike my fancy when I saw it on their website. So I thought, let's give this a bit of the oh. You know, it's going to be good if I'm starting like that. It's just, no, maybe, maybe, maybe. The roots again are great, so I've got high hopes that these are going to re recover nicely. So let me see how I can get this out of here without ripping anything. Ah, oh, patience is not my friend. Let's rip the paper and not plant. Oh, no, it is pretty though. So, Anthurium quermalensis, and I mean, that is a sizable. Um, you might be able to see there is some damage there, and I'm pretty sure that side bit is cold damage, as is the top there. You can kind of see how see-through that section is. But the thing I was worried about was the um, this bit that looks a bit kind of wet and miserable, but actually the growing tip is still in there. That is just the caterpillar. Um, but again, the roots are looking okay on these. I The previous order that I had, the roots were substantial, so I needed big pots. Ironically enough, I've got quite a few big pots, but I don't think I'm going to need them for a lot of these plants. They can probably go in smaller pots, which causes me a bit of an issue because I don't have a small enough clear pot for these. I might be doing a quick trip to the garden center later on today. Final one. And shockingly, this video isn't quite that long at the moment, which is great. I'll probably do a B-roll at the end, just so I can have all the clips of all the different plants together. But yes, final one. And as I said, this is another anthurium. Interestingly, this is the only anthurium that is in cling film or that plastic as well as the paper. So I think 
and I think I know which one this one is. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a very sensitive anthurium, probably one of the only sensitive anthuriums that I've ordered. <laughs> this remains to be seen. I have very sneaky suspicion, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. I was reading um, Enid's book from... Why am I blocking? Enid, but I'll put it at the top. Why am I blocking on something tropicals? I can't remember. Um, and this is a plant that apparently she has tried to grow several times, and I think she struggled every single time, and it's kind of become a bit of a, a pain for her, and she wants to kind of get it right. So I thought, you know what, glutton for punishment. I will get this, and I know this is very similar to the other strappy one that I was looking at before, but I mean, strappy. The roots are looking good, though. The roots are looking really, really good on this. This, and the people that probably have this and they've already probably killed it, probably laughing, going, ah, wait and see. Oh, the cold probably didn't do us any favours. This is the Anthurium Fridericstalii, I think. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Possibly not. But I like this. I like this more than I thought it was going to. And to be fair, it almost looks like a baby version of the Viterra folium behind me. And I know some people might, this is not going to be for everybody. It's looking a bit grassy and a bit kind of thin. Oh, I like this. I like this more than I thought it was going to. Very, very cool. So let me pop that one down and let's wrap up with some final thoughts. <laughs> Firstly, actually, before I go to my final thoughts, which one was your favourite out of all of these? If you disregard cosmetic damage, cold damage, price, because I hopefully would have put the prices there as well, or kind of root condition and all these things, which one took your fancy more than the rest of them, basically? Um, and also, actually I'll do this as a, a bit of a, a two-for-one question. Which one was your favourite and which one surprised you? Because I can imagine some people are going to be like, oh, I've always liked the Linamii. I still think the Linamii was the favourite one of this one. That's fine. But give me another one from the hall now that surprised you and you weren't expecting it to surprise you. Because I've got a couple in here, actually, that surprised me that I'm just like, ooh, look at this. But yeah, final thoughts on this. I will say this was a better organised pop-up than the last ones that I went to. And I think the only one that I can kind of compare it to and it wasn't one of their pop-ups although i did see pictures from the previous pop-up that they did in cambridge and that again it was a bit carnage esque uh interestingly for that one i didn't go because i hadn't placed an order thinking that they didn't have any plants there to sell if you didn't already place an order little did i know at that point that that's not the case there are other plants that people can go and buy there which i'm assuming is probably why it was as busy as it was i was there one of the first few people there when it opened up and it was already heaving basically i think it started at 10 and i got there at five minutes past 10 and it was pretty full basically so but yeah it was well organized the other event that i that i did actually experience them was when i went and did the the plant festival up in leeds that was organized by grow tropicals and they had equigenera there as well that was insane, but the whole day was a bit insane. It was great. It's the one that I did the plant panel for, and again, I'll link the video there if you haven't seen it. But yeah, the event was good. Slightly worrying with the cold roots. I'm not going to lie. I think I sounded like a broken record throughout most of this video, but let's see how things pan out. I am assuming, but do confirm to me down below, would you want to see an update on these in a couple of weeks time when they've had a chance to settle and truly show their teeth and potential cold damage? <laughs> I'm assuming most people are going to want to see that. Um, and I can always do an update, a longer update further down the line with this one. But again, the reason why I thought I would buy these now is because last time I bought them at the end of the growing season and they kind of only really arrived October, November time. They were meant to arrive a lot earlier than that. But this time around, I'm just like, it's already warming up. Much brighter in here generally at the moment. I thought even if they come and they're looking a bit worse for wear, and some of them obviously did, as you saw, there's more of a chance that they're going to rehab better 
when it's like this at the moment in here and it's obviously coming into spring and we'll have summer very soon so I have got hopes let's see basically but yeah I think that's everything I'm not going to prattle on for too much longer hopefully you've enjoyed hopefully I shall see you here soon and I hope that you have a great rest of your day thanks bye <laughs>